Hello everyone, time for another bedtime story. This week we've got A Squash and a Squeeze, also by Julia Donaldson, who wrote The Snail and the Whale that Faith read for us last week. Now, this book started off as a song that Julia Donaldson wrote for children's television. But people enjoyed it so much, and liked the story so much, that she turned it into a book, and Axel Scheffler drew the pictures for it. It was one of Gregory's favourites when he was young. Yep. Are you going to read it for us? Yep. A little old lady lived all by herself, with a table and chairs and a jug on the shelf. A wise old ma man heard her grumble and growls, There's not enough room in my house! Wise old man, won't you help me, please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your hen, said the wise old man. T Take in my hen? What a curious plan. Well, the hen laid an egg on the fireside rug and flapped around the room, knocking over the jug. The little old lady cried, what shall I do? It was pokey for one and it's tiny for two. My nose has a tickle and there's no room to sneeze. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, would you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your goat, said the wise old man. Take in my goat, what a curious plan. Well, the goat chewed the curtains and trod on the egg, then sat down to nibble the table leg. The little old lady cried, Glory be! It was tiny for two and it's titchy for three. The, ten, the hen pecks the goat and the goat's got fleas. My house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, Wise old man, would you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your pig, said the wise old man. Take in my pig? What a curious plan. So she took in her pig, who kept chasing the hen and raiding the larder again and again. The little old lady cries, stop, I implore. It was titchy for three and it's teeny for four. If the pig in the larder agrees, even the pig in the larder agrees, my house is a squash and the squeeze. And she said, wise old man, would you help me please? My house is a squash and a squeeze. Take in your cow, said the wise old man. Take in my cow, what a curious plan. Well, the cow took one look and charged straight at the pig, then jumped on the table and tapped out a jig. The little old lady cried, heaven's alive, it was teeny for four and it's weeny for five. I'm tearing my hair out, I'm dying on my knees, my house is a squash and a squeeze. And she said, wise old man, would you help me please, my house is a squash and a squeeze. Take them all out, said the wise old man. But then I'll be back where I first began. So she opened the window and out flew the hen, that's better, at last I can sneeze again. She shooed out the goat and she shoved out the pig. My house is beginning to feel pretty big. She huffed and she puffed and she pushed out the cow. Just look at my house. It's enormous now. Thank you, old man, for the work you have done. It was weenie for five. It's gigantic for one. There's no need to grumble and there's no need to grouse. There's plenty of room in my house. And now she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees It isn't a squash and it isn't a squeeze. Yes, she's full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. It isn't a squash or a squeeze. Wonderful. Thank you. At the moment, we all have to stay inside our houses for a lot of the time, don't we? After a while, that can feel like a squash and a squeeze for us, too. I know we all want to be able to go out and see people that we love, but it won't be for long. For now, we need to learn, like the little old lady in our story, to be thankful for what we have. And then we'll be full of frolics and fiddle dee dees. We'll all see each other face to face soon. Take care, everyone. God loves us all. Bye bye. <laughs>